Hello everyone and welcome to the channel, it's up Maxim again and a new uh, event week started today, yesterday so we are gonna go over the events that are currently running and um, you know, I'm gonna link the links to the, their specific videos if I made a specific guide already about them in the past so we are just gonna go over them. We are gonna start with the perk item swap that I wanted to make in a special video about, but maybe I will not do it if it's in this video. And basically just lets you switch any amount of uh, mechanical gears uh, to uh, do dog tags that's here or here on top. You change dog tags into the gears. You always change into the one which is on the right. And basically it's sort of unlimited, like it's limited to 9999, but you're not gonna have that many of the Rongo class that you have, than you, than you want. And we actually do not have the details yet about the class changes, so anyway, you don't really, you know, it's basically just for changing leftovers from the other uh, side that you have. Then there is another uh, event, which is uh, the Aya, the Aya pack, where you can buy Aya for $40 basically. Aya is a very good uh, air hero who can actually be used on uh, other uh, unit types as well with quite a decent uh, outcome actually for uh, navy for instance but uh, basically I, I would say that you should not really buy her in this event uh, she will eventually in the next few months she will appear for 20 dollars I'm pretty sure about that maybe even for less or like you know for 18 dollars in a point store or something like that if you know what I mean so yeah, she is going to be available for cheaper basically. So I would not uh, buy her here myself if I didn't already have her. I mean, I already have her because I was there when she got released. But anyway, um, yeah. So that's that. And then there is Baking Master. And Baking Master, uh, I have uh, my guide for Baking Master um, that you can go and check on my channel. I might feature it for now while it's running. It is. It is also featured on the official Discord. And basically everything in there is true, except uh, some things uh, that I might actually make another video about them as well, but uh, maybe I'll just, nah. Anyway, basically the thing is that uh, the upgrade got even weaker now, because uh, Basil is now completely free, Violet is now completely free as well, and basically only Dante isn't free of these heroes now. So this upgrade got uh, weaker than it was before. So basically, for whales, it's obviously still uh, absolutely great, right? If you are a whale, then you want to buy this. If you're not a whale, you can you can leave this out. You don't need it. And basically what you want to do is you just want to spam Dark Forces. Or, you know, you can go and watch my video about this event. But there is another thing which sort of changed uh, in my point of view. And that is the purple blueprint choice packs, actually. Because while they are super strong... Uh, this event is now running like every month, uh, I think at least, or every second month. So what that means is actually that, uh, well, basically these boxes have got lo less value now. And it is actually every month. I just checked uh, when my previous video uh, was made about it. So yeah, it's once a month now, which is basically going to mean that you are going to be getting uh, that choice box once a month. And uh, if I can actually find it, god damn it. Basically, the point being that I already have three of them. So I can take any three uh, blueprints that I will need. And I also get another like purple one from some other things. Like from individual defense or something like that. I don't remember now what it was. I got one like yesterday. What was it from? Uh, god damn it. Well, at any point. Uh, you basically do get some purple, uh, you know, purple... Um, equipment uh, blueprints from other places as well and uh, the result is that actually it takes so long to get these if uh, if we if we go and if we do some math here right okay let's ju let's just do some quick math right so basically if we uh, if we we need 20 purple of uh, purple let's say you know like 20 purple sorry uh, I need to delete this. Okay, so we need 20 purple uh, resources. That is uh, 80 blue resources. That is 320 green resources, which is 1280 white resources. And you have to multiply these by two and a half, a half hours each. So that's like 150 minutes. So that's that many <laughs> uh, minutes. Now let's divide it again to get hours. 3,200 hours 
which basically means um, <laughs> that uh, it's like 133 days. Unless I made some mistake here. I, it is possible that I made some mistake here at this point. I hope that I did a mistake uh, because otherwise it's pretty crazy. Let's just go again, yeah, like times four, times four. That's we are in green. Uh, so that was for blue. Mm, sorry, yeah, blue, green, white. Okay, so I I made a mistake, but still. What did I? I don't think I made a mistake actually. I didn't make a mistake, so it basically is gonna take you one one hundred and thirty three days, if you don't uh, if you don't count like getting the resources from other places just to get the steel for this, and you don't need just steel. You need twenty more um, what's it called screws, and you need thirty more tungsten, so even more. So basically, this is going to take you like a year <laughs> to get one purple uh, thing here. Of course, like, you know, you can dismantle the previous blue one that if you have it and um, change it into the purple one, which is basically going to save you like one fourth of the resources of the time here. But yeah, basically the point being that, uh, you know, the purple boxes are not as important once you already have one of them, basically. You sort of want one of them so that you can pick whatever you want uh, when you have the resources the materials, but other than that, um, you don't really need to buy this anymore if you have at least one in your inventory, especially if you have two. I will not be buying this anymore uh, this month. And other than that, everything else applies pretty much. So you want to always get these, you sort of want to get these as well, even though they are not as important anymore, but yeah. And then you have the skill chests and you also have the class perk speed ups. So, you know, that's another thing that can basically help you buy a lot to get um, this can help you a lot to get uh, um, three heroes, basically. But there is going to be class changes, so who knows. And the formation 101s are nice as well, but then again, uh, you know. Like, basically, most of these things are now way more readily, way more easily available than they were in the past. So, basically, all their value has been sort of reduced. So, yeah, let's just, uh, let's, let's just go a bit more into this. Where were we? Uh, there is alliance defense, uh, which you know we are gonna do in a few days, I guess. Uh, if you are w wondering uh, how the points are calculated for this, you can check my other video from last month about alliance defense. Uh, I made s sort of a guide, uh, gameplay slash guide combination, which uh, also uh, basically it shows you how it's calculated. And then I made a confirmation video when I confirmed it the next day and my second alliance because I have multiple accounts, and multiple alliances. And let's keep going. So then there's the power drill, which is basically a po like power drill 2000, which is, wait, no? Oh, okay, sorry, it is a 10,000 now. I completely spaced out on them changing it already. So it's the biggest one. So that's the one that gives you the most rewards. It gives some pretty crazy rewards, but basically this is all just whale stuff, right? So I'm not gonna uh, really talk about this much at this point. And um, yeah, I might make, s s yeah. And then, but it's, well, the, yeah, it's sort of better when it is actually combined with the seasonal sales, because normal seasonal sales would be kind of crap, but with power drill, then they are, you know, much nicer, I guess, with the drill, because the drill is going to give you a lot of extra stuff. But still, like, I, I don't really like this event much myself, but that's because I'm not a whale, right? If I was a whale, maybe I would love this event. I just never really tried this, so I actually don't know, but basically when you buy one of these for $5, uh, it changes into a higher one, which costs more and so on, and uh, it resets every day. And I don't really know what the other offers even look like, so I'll have to ask for the screenshots of them, and maybe then I'll make a more proper video about, video about that one event. Who knows? I guess I can try ask some uh, people about that. And I, yeah, anyway, I need to do some other stuff as well, actually. So yeah, Baking Master, we're over that. And Flippy Cards. So Flippy Cards are absolutely awesome. And they give you, they are the best event for getting gold chart for gems. You get basically, you get sort of like um, one gem, ah, sorry, one chart per like 110 or 112. I'm going to actually check. I have this, you know, I'm going to leave the spreadsheet as well, maybe in the comments. Or you can go and check my, check my guide on flippy cards. And yeah. Uh, there you can actually see, uh, you know, how what the ratios are and so on. 
where I have the spreadsheet and um, also I made another video about <laughs> about the flippy cards when I was just doing it like 20 minutes ago and I got an insane amount of stuff and yeah you're gonna see and apparently someone deleted my stuff on reddit what why the hell would they delete my stuff on reddit anyway never mind that and yeah uh, thank you guys and uh, until next time have a wonderful day